uh, to Kericho now little known Aaron Cheriot, a Moy University mass communication graduate, is the Jubilee Party nominee for the Kericho Senate seat. Now Cheriot uh, trounced bigwigs like former State House Controller Franklin Bett. Former ODM Executive Director Margaret Langat and Paul Chepconi to get the nomination. He will now battle it out in the by-election with unexpected strong opposition from Kanu and Mashinana parties. Murimi Mwangi reports from Kericho. A surprise victory that shook three Kericho political heavyweights who had been taunted as the most favorite in the race for the Jubilee Alliance Party ticket. Aaron Cheriot, a 29 year old mass communication graduate from Moy University, clinched the JAP ticket after garnering most of the votes cast in the nomination exercise. <laughs> A victory that turned Kericho Teachers College Hall, where the tallying exercise was being conducted, into a carnival of song and dance after the clock ticked 3 a.m. as the final results from Bureti constituency trickled in. I really want to thank God for this opportunity. It's been a fantastic day on the campaign trail. Um, when this seat fell vacant, I contacted a few friends of mine and we decided that we are going to give it a try. And you all agree that you are going to give it the best shot of our life. So for the residents of Kericho County to agree that they want this young man to take on the button and lead as their senator, it's a great honor. Basically, and I also want to thank the, the competitors, uh, Honorable Magarel, Honorable Bet, and also Honorable Sam Chepkwani for, uh, for conceding the defeat and also for promising to support him. We are looking forward to seeing a very, very successful campaign. And we are also looking forward to seeing uh, the new senator of Kericho, Mr. Aaron, a young man. Earlier in the night, a confrontation between the election officials and Cheriot's supporters almost degenerated into a stampede in the hall as the seemingly enraged Cheriot's supporters raised concern that there may have been plans to rig the victory from him after over 2,000 votes were reported as either spoiled or rejected in the Kipkelion East constituency. No, 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 you, you listen, because finally you, you have to make a decision, isn't it? But if we shout at one another, I don't think it will work. The youthful man whose first stint at politics was in Moy University campus polls, which earned him an expulsion from campus, flawed political heavyweights, including former Rhodes Minister Franklin Bett and former ODM Executive Director Magrer Langat and former National Corporation Housing Chairman Sami Chepkwani. I know it's an enormous, enormous responsibility taking over this button as a young person uh, there are so many challenges ahead, but I take on this button on behalf of all the young people who believe that we can build on a better Kenya and a better Africa. I want to challenge myself that for the things that I have promised on the campaign trail, that I fulfill each of them. <laughs> kwa sababu wamejaribu kadiri iwawezavyo kutengeneza uchaguzi iliyo sawa na tunaamini ya kwamba imeenda jinsi ilivyokuwa ikienda si ndio And in what is slowly shaping up into a youth versus the old guard duel, the 29-year-old will now face former Bureti MP Paul Sang, who is contesting the seat under the canoe ticket. The face-off is likely to promise nothing less than political fireworks, as the two parties hungrily scramble for the Kalenjin vote ahead of the 2017 general election. Murebi Mwangi, KTN News.